Oh, we're just going to skip ahead? You seem to have slept for quite a long time. The typhoon has completely passed. Though through the window, the sky looks clear. You feel refreshed. Today is respect for the age day. The holiday lasts until the 23rd. Oh, you seem to be feeling better. Why don't you go get some fresh air? It's really nice out. You feeling okay, senpai? You should take today to rest. They say idiots never get sick. Oh, wait. I mean, since you got sick, you're smart. And since I didn't, I'm in... Well, what do they know anyways? <laughs> I'm glad you're feeling better now. But don't get careless or you might get sick again. How are you feeling? I'm fine now. Then let's explore Tartarus. Good morning. I'm here to monitor the condition of your health. Your temperature, pulse, and breathing have all returned to normal. Congratulations on surviving your illness. Thank you. Caught a little cold, huh? Glad to see you're feeling better. I'm kind of hungry. Let's go eat. What do you feel like eating? Hamburgers. Ooh, I want a frog burger from Wild Duck. He decided to take Maiko to Wild Duck Burger. So the other day, Mom and Dad, they talked to me about why they were getting divorced. I was sad, but I listened to what they said. Did I do good? Yeah, you did good. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. So, Mom and Dad, they said when there's no love, it's hard to still be married. They said not to worry because they would always love me. Mm. I told them that they're still not allowed to get divorced. Even if you don't have love, you should still have to try. So, I have to choose whether I want to live with Mom or Dad. But I can't choose that. You decide for me, okay? I can't. I'm sorry. But I really don't know. Oh! Mom might move somewhere far away, so if I went with her, I couldn't play with you anymore. That'd be bad. I miss you too much. Hmm. Well, I hope you can find out. This is level 8. I hope Tatsuya gets here soon. I'm not even complaining today or nothing. So rare. But I have to tell Katatsu because he's my MMO partner. I'll be brave. <laughs> I'm so lame. I'm blushing for reals. Oh, no. Now I'm starting to get sweaty. Are you talking to yourself? Oh, my God. How long have you been there? <laughs> Sorry. Kind of spaced out. I'm just kind of interested in someone from school. He's kind of a teenager, though. Oh my god, I said it! None of the male teachers are even in my league, so I gave up looking for boyfriends at work. I never thought I'd fall for a stu- Oh my god! Wait out yourself! <laughs> Going for younger guys is kind of new for me. What is he like? He's kind of quiet, but real mature and an intense kind of looking and hot. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God. This ain't good for you, dude. This ain't good for you, Teach. Why are you doing this? Why are you saying something like this? He's one of my students. Oh, boy. He just transferred in this year. Yep. Okay. Got it. It is me. After his parents died, I will comfort him. Maybe I can abuse my power and convince him I'm a guidance counselor. Oh, by the way, you don't need to be jealous. He's just someone I like, right? Let's see he's the only game partner for Maya. No worries. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I don't know whether I want to continue to finish the Hermit Arcana or not. <laughs> Shade, is this what it's like over on the Orange YouTubes? It's also what it's like over on Twitter. Got it. All right, everyone, quiet down. There will be no classes this afternoon. However, that doesn't mean you'll be allowed to goof off. You'll have to work together to clean up the duties and decorations for the school's festival. I'll assign you into three groups for the cleanup. The first group will go to the science lab. Your leader will be... Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
come on, let's hurry up and get this over with. He began cleaning up with everyone. Hey, this is the photography club's display. Aren't these pictures from the big competition? Look, Shade, you're in this one. Isn't that guy who took first kind of dark looking? Looks like he's got a bad suntan or something. That's Mamoru. He's crazy strong. Though, of course, I'll beat him one day. Dude, I think you've already taken the sweatiness competition. I've never seen you in school uniform before. Guess jerseys are better for stuff like this, but still. Hey, you guys you can jabber all you want, but work while you talk. At this rate, we'll be here all day. Sorry. Hey, you're not like... What do you mean? Uh, I'm already bush. I brought the stuff. Nail puller, tape, and... Cool, thanks, man. Wait, hang on. Did you forget the popping stuff? Popping stuff? Oh, bubble wrap. Um, good call. Uh, go get it. You know where they keep that stuff, right? Yeah, but you're the one who forgot it. Are you sure? You really don't want to go? That place is like a paradise. Who knows what you might find? Some fine chicas would be yes, your type. Wait, are you serious? Be right back, guys! Yeah, like I fall for that, dumbass. What kind of supply room is stocked with hot babes? Ahem. I believe I asked you all to hurry up so we can go home. Sorry, Yukatan. It's like a pissed off samurai. Heard that. Are you stupid or something, Stupe? <laughs> More like Stupe, I think. Hey, deja vu. Fine, I'll go to the supply room later. But yeah, it's a real shame the school festival fell through. There were so many cool events I was looking forward to, like a stand-up comedy show. They said it was going to be open mic, so I was planning to try it out. Really? With who? Uh, you. Dang. Wait a sec, you gotta let me in on plans like that. Dude, it was just a joke. It's gotta be Kazushi. Me? Hell no. Jeez, you guys are harsh. Can't any of you take a joke? Shade then. Bring it on. Now that's a spirit. You wanna give it a little try right here? Ahem. <laughs> Hello there, everyone! We're the famous comedy duo, Kenji Tomochika! Nice to meet you all. What? This is a great place to jump in. You should have said something like, that's no duo, or I have to, I have to be Kenji Tomochika too. Ah, oh, whatever. The school festival is almost here. It's already over, idiot! Hey, what are you giving up already? All you gotta do is sleep 360 more times, right? You know what they say, early to, ri early to bed, early to rise. Makes you an old geezer. There you go. Great gag like that will end on a high note. Are you related to the chairman I could mention? And speaking of jokes, here's a good one. What the? The key isn't working. Keep trying. That's the lamest joke I've heard in years. You're good con though, through and through. I mean, come on. <laughs> I think that went pretty good considering we didn't rehearse. Man, what a waste. Hey, you know what else is a waste? We never got to see Ukari san in a maid outfit. Uh huh? Ah, so word got out about that. I'm relieved it never happened. But I bet a lot of guys are really disappointed, right, Kazushi? Oh, really? Wait, what's a maid? <gasps> a pure soul! He's so innocent! Ah, uh, it's something that guys like Junpei dream about. Junpei? Wait a sec, what's that look for? You act like I did something. Junpei san? You've gotta be kidding, you two, I guess? The cleanup ended peacefully. Kikakon main gate. Oh, Shade. Hmm? Uh, sorry, man. I'll have to pass. Why's that? I forgot I have to check out that cram school today. Sorry, man. So, I don't have time to eat ramen. I mean, getting into college is more important than hanging out, right? Don't you think about your future? I do, but I'm also like, I know how flawed the education system is. Yeah, it doesn't exactly do well. Well, I mean, I do have like 30 year goals. But, dude, I didn't know you were that serious about your future. Hey, you. <coughs> Sorry, if you don't mind, please stay until I recover my breath. Of course, dude. Thank you. Mm. <sighs> ah, 
I really got into reading last night and never went to sleep. I thought I'd be fine since I've been having many nights where I'm unable to sleep because of my illness, but... <clears throat> I guess my condition won't improve if I keep taking chances, though. Like, come on, dude. Yeah, I suppose I do need to apologize. It's been a long time since anybody raised their voice at me. <laughs> I came all this way because I was hoping to find you. Remember how I talked about reading upbeat stories? There are plenty of stories, but I don't think reading them will ever make me feel better. The problem is all of those stories were written for someone else. I guess what I'm saying is selfish. I'm being selfish about you, too. You're always coming to see me, and I take up a lot of your time. How much of your valuable time have you wasted on visiting me? I don't deserve it. You're spoiling me, I'm afraid. That's why I like you, though. Yeah. What can I say? You are a, uh, a damn good dude. Dying young man reaches rank five. Ah, there you are. Where's my booze? A lazy-eyed monk is drinking. You've mustered enough courage to talk to him. Booze! Where's my booze? I don't got nothing to say to anyone who doesn't have any. Okay. You want a drink? You're underage, aren't you? Oh, it's for the monk upstairs, huh? I see. In that case, how about you do me a favor first? Can you go around to take everyone's order? If you do, I'll bring a drink upstairs for him. I think that's it. You got everyone's order right. Let's go. So this was what you wanted. Yeah, a drink for the monk upstairs. It seems he wants brandy again. I'll take it to him. Let's go. Got that. You told the monk that you ordered some brandy. This must have impressed him because he started talking with you. Uh, you look awfully young, kid. You still in high school? What are the employees here thinking letting you in? Uh, since you got me a drink, I'll pretend you're, I'm your parents so you don't get thrown out of here. Come on, kid, sit down. I'm having to look up at you, straining my neck. You want to see where adults spend their time, huh? Ah, uh, don't worry. In two or three more years, you'll be old enough to hang out here unsupervised. Just take it easy, kid. You'll be legal before you know it. No need to rush. Acting like an adult only makes you look more like a kid. Guess it sounds funny coming from an alcohol drinking, cigar smoking monk, huh? What is it? Does it taste good? Some say it does. I just drink to get drunk. It makes me feel good. You seem to be optimistic about the future. Don't get your hopes too high, kid. The way That way you won't be disappointed when things don't work out. Because then you'll have to smoke and drink just to get through the day. You're nothing like those punks I see running around town these days. Can't say the same for my son, though. <laughs> Always taken in by the police for questioning. I don't remember your face, kid. Next time you come in here, I'm gonna have you thrown out. Got it. <laughs> A tower, huh? Oop, hello. Hey, Pharos. What up? I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but there's only one more week until the full moon. I hope nothing serious happens, but who knows what the future will bring. So be careful. Remember, I'm always watching you. We'll meet again. <sighs> well, hey, I haven't been doing so well since last time, and I think it's because of those things you said against God. I begged so hard for your soul, that I think I even lost weight. Ah, oh, brother. 
<laughs> yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. I ate fried chicken first thing in the morning. You ate fried chicken? Look, I get it, alright? You're embarrassed to be seen with me, I can tell. I I'm not like my little brother. I can't study for hours and my stubby legs won't let me be athletic. And I'm genetically predisposed to spilling on my clothes. Everyone hates me. They all wish I could be more like my little brother. Everyone's always making fun of me and I just want the whole world to go away right now. But even then, you still won't. I'll try to make my... Make it to paradise. Then, I'll have a totally sweet new body. I'll be taller, slender, my body will grow, and I will be safer at night. See? Then I won't be inferior to my brother, and you won't hate me to be seen with me. I mean, please don't abandon me. I have to leave without eating, because I haven't earned forgiveness just yet. I still have to recruit a new believer first. Yeah, that's him. So I can count on you? Yeah, it's not a problem so long as I get my money. Anyway, I know this other guy has been short on cash lately. I'm just willing to pay for two guys. Just make sure it gets done. 132,000 yen, right? Yeah, the same thing happened to my son. I stay away from that kid if you don't get want to get caught in a trap. 132,000 yen? The fuck did you do, Nozomi? It's missing fee money. No one's found it yet. Shit. No one said anything to me, but I don't know what they're all thinking. I can't take it anymore. I don't want to be here. Sorry, I shouldn't be saying things like this as a member of student council. I'm gonna go check out some books. So yeah, there's no way it could be anyone else. It has to be her. The girl in student council, the sophomore with the long hair and the glasses, the one reading. I think she stole the class's money. 2,500 yen per person. Damn, I wish I could buy a brand name purse with that much. I hear she has no father. There's no way that could be any money since her mom only works part-time. How could it not be her? She has such an innocent face, though. Ahem. <clears throat> what do you want? Are you a friend of Chihiro's? Then again, maybe not. You don't look like you'd be hanging out with her. Excuse me, this is a library. Show some courtesy. Let's go outside. I'll tell you the whole story. I couldn't find it. Hey, let's get out of here. She heard. Hey. You heard the rumor going around the whole school, right? The only time I feel safe is when I'm with you. I have no one else to turn to. Maybe you should talk to a teacher. Right, I gave the money to him, so I should ask for an explanation. But what if he thinks I'm accusing him of stealing? I'm scared. I may sound like I'm weak, but I'm fine. I really am. I don't think it's right for me to always be counting on you. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, September 20th, around 1.13 a.m. It's me. Door unlocked in 92 seconds. My time has improved. The fuck you mean your time has improved? You've been watching me sleep? Surface body temperature reads 98.7 degrees. No fever. This is during the tsunami. She was just checking on me. At this rate, we should make a full recovery by morning. The pillow I prepared in the freezer will not be necessary. You put a pillow in the freezer? I mustn't stay too long or Yukari-san will reprimand me again. There are still four hours and twelve minutes until sunrise. Hmm. I need only sneak out again before morning. <laughs> I will keep watch over him for a little longer. I guess... 
September 25th. 45, 15 minutes till 1 a.m. Mitsuru. Okay, she's in a towel. Whew. Whoops. I've gotten used to walking around without my bathrobe lately. I can see that. Not a very good habit to fall into. I don't know about that. Shut up. Well, I'm not at home, so I suppose being a little lax won't hurt. See? Not a gonna hurt at all. Shut up. This fashion magazine. I saw Takiba buying one, so I thought I'd pick one up myself, but... This one piece is beloved by all, including friends, boyfriends, and boyfriends' friends. Alluring yet prudish, the ultimate combination. Oof. What are they talking about? I don't follow fashion myself. I usually just wear whatever the family stylist selects for me. Hmm. Cute clothes, huh? Well, I do kind of want to try this. Pink one. Pink would look good on her. Hmm. Not that I'd be able to pull it off. I'm not like Takiba. Ah, come on. You're you. That's one of the best things you can be. I should be careful to remember the distinction between clothes I want to wear and clothes I can wear. Gesundheit. I knew this was a bad habit. It's a good way to catch a cold. I should get some rest. I have to wake up early again tomorrow. Now, which pajamas should I wear tonight? Whoa. What, that, that, that's where it ends? Come on, man! Stop it. You forget. High schoolers. Oh. That doesn't look good on me, does it? No, no it fucking doesn't.